So when you have a problem finding a tricky leak, one of the best things to do, we call it a cut and cap, is we separate the unit, suction, and line set so we could pressurize just their coil. We can pressurize just their line set. We braze them shut because we don't, you, you sometimes can't find it at all. And I mean, it's a pain to locate some leaks and sometimes they're so minute. You gotta add gas every like two, three years, but it's just not that often, but you know there's a leak somewhere. I mean, you're just brazing it shut. You're separating it from everywhere. Now on the condenser side, same thing. Separate it here. The other side's just brazed. This has a fitting put on so you could add pressure to it. A port and then a port on the suction. So you could pressurize both. Braze shut and braze shut. So you're isolating your condenser line set and your air handler. You pressurize it to about 350 PSI. And well, you'll come back in a couple days. And when you come back, you'll know if it's leaking or not. So, I mean, somebody installed the dryer, I guess. 115.20. I'm guessing it was installed then. I don't know. But, I mean, I know you see a lot of people like electronic leak checkers. But then sometimes electronic leak checkers just won't find it. Bubbles won't find it. It's so minute. Here, this will find it. The evaporator coil dropped. But I wasn't the one to do it. I'm just doing maintenance at this building, but I'm just showing this is the best way to do it. But I actually think that the way it was written up, it only went down 20 PSI on the liquid line. Therefore, it was just putting the gauge on and off that dropped it, where the, where the actual evap coil went down about 200 PSI. Nitrogen's the quickest leaking substance in the world, so. That's what makes this best. You can't put nitrogen in a system operating and you don't want to really do this while the system's operating, but this is the best. Till next time, I'm out.